how have things been going? Good. We're a few weeks in now. I want to check in to see how you're feeling. Mm -hmm. I've, I've been feeling good. Endurance has gone up, so that makes me happy. I've, I have a little bit of knee pain here and there, but that's when I'm being lazy and I don't stretch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so okay. just to be honest. Yes. Uh, but when I do everything that you taught me and that I'm supposed to do, mm -hmm. then my knees won't have as much pain. Even though I've been busy, I've been trying to keep up with my running routine. Just to calm down my nerves, not feel so overwhelmed. I've been traveling a lot and just, you know, trying to do school, but also trying to run at the same time. <laughs> this is meant to fit in with your life, and so we'll make it work. Running is something that's really, really easy to fold into your routine, and it's really easy to make a habit of it. And if you run sometimes, you are a runner. I always try to take time for myself, no matter what's going on. But being able to have a set goal mm -hmm. and time dedicated to that said goal, to just think about what my day has been or what my week has been or the things that I have to do or just listen to music and kind of escape and just being present and in my own body is a really beautiful thing. It's funny to think about the relationship between physical and mental health because it's your health. It's one and the same. I look at the running that I do now as a form of meditation. When I work out or when I'm moving my body, I feel grounded. Like, I am most connected with myself. With acting, I have to step outside of my shoes and step into my character's shoes. So that's that out-of-body experience a little bit. Greatest challenge that I've had to overcome, for me, it's been finding balance in emotion, but also recognizing the emotion and being okay with the emotion that you're feeling. Thank you and knowing that, oh yeah, you can be on a high one day and you're doing the coolest thing, and then the next day you can be sad, or you could be upset, or you could be irritated. It could be messy, and it can be like, what is going on? Why do I feel like this? But I have realized whatever feeling you wake up with, you have to acknowledge that. Yes, you can try to change your mood around, but if you're not acknowledging what that emotion is, then you can't really find balance. I have never really dealt with a passing of a person really close to me. Um, so with the passing of um, my manager, um, I was, I was, I was confused. And he was very upfront with his struggles and his battles. But of course, you don't live in someone's body. You don't live in someone's head. And I have realized through his passing that mental health is something that you cannot question. And when I think about Mr. Chris specifically, even though I do cry and I do get sad, I, I smile. I try to think of, like, the good memories. I look at the sky and I think about him. I don't know what about the sky makes me think about him, but I literally think about him every day. And I think he would be so proud that I'm doing this. I think he would be so proud of all of the things that we're doing. I hope running can help me define what mental health looks like to me a little bit more. And anybody watching this can relate to me a little bit more. Life is hard and we don't have it figured out and we're not supposed to have it figured out. I think it's just really about knowing that's okay. Mm -hmm.